Well, I, I will uh, start then because it's, uh, it's time. Uh, so my name is Jacques, Jacques Griffekoven, and I'm uh, heading a company called AlloCloud, which is a Belgium company, but we are active in um, uh, a dozen countries in uh, Europe. Uh, and I'm happy to see that we have some partners in the room. Hi. Um, and what I will talk is a little bit about what we do and how you could use our platform to do some clever things by integrating telephony with Odoo. First of all, in order to explain what we do, this is what, what most companies have today in terms of telephony. What they have is a regular PBX, ISDN lines, and classical phones. And what, what we do is that we get rid of the telephone system, we get rid of ISDN lines, and everything moves into the cloud. So the only thing that our customers have are IP phones uh, on premise, and that's absolutely it. Uh, it gives them a much more flexibility. It's uh, much cheaper than a traditional telephone system. And the important thing is that our vision about telephony um, is that it should be integrated with external uh, applications. So as I said, we are present in 12 countries, uh, including, uh, this is only Europe, by the way. Um, but it's most, or the most important European countries, we are present in there. The, the reason, it's, it's quite important to understand that when you talk about telecom, you need to have licenses. You have to, to, to have a license in each country for, for many reasons. Uh, one of the most important reasons is that if you call 112, so the emergency services in Germany, it has to get to the emergency services in Germany and they have to come to your home, etc. So that's why, I mean, we cannot claim that we are a global service because we are not. We have to have licenses in every country, which is tough. I can tell you it's very complicated. Um, so, well, sorry to say that, but telephony is kind of boring. Uh, it's a very important uh, service. So all companies, every company in the world still has uh, telephony, uh, but it's not very exciting. So the, what we do to make it exciting is to do integrations, and we do integrations. One of the integrations that we have done is with Odoo, and that's what I will explain to you now. I will not talk about us, I will talk about how you can really create value by combining both, uh, uh, both products. The first thing is that you actually don't need much to do the basic integration with our uh, service. Uh, the only thing you need to do, this is on our uh, portal, when, you, when a, a, an account, when a customer is created, we just go to integration, we select Odoo, and the only thing you have to do is to enter the credentials of a user who has, as a minimum, access to the contact list in Odoo. So you don't need to install any, uh, any module. We are very independent from the version of Odoo because we use a, a, quite a basic API with Odoo. So that means that we are compatible back to uh, release 8, uh, as I understand it, uh, which means that release 12, 13, etc., will continue integrate with our platform very easily because there is no real code. It's just an API that we use. And from there on, we actually start doing exchange between the Odoo platform and our telephony platform. So basically what people have is their Odoo PC and their Telephones and the telephones can be hard phones, can be soft phones on the PC, can be soft phones on the on your smartphone, um, etc. We we support any device, even tablets, whatever. We are completely multi-device. And in terms of functionality, what you get in the basic integration is you get for you get of course the the, the most basic thing, which is click to call. In fact, there is a little browser extension that installs in, in the browser. It's a full, full um, automatic installation. You just click on an email and it installs completely automatically. And from there on, any telephone number in Odoo becomes clickable. So you click on it and the call is, is launched. That's a basic feature. More interesting feature is the fact that when a, com, when a call comes in, you are immediately notified, of course, on the phone itself, so you see the name of the person, and th this is the Odoo name of the person uh, that appears on the phone itself. And if you have your PC in front of you, there's also a notification that appears on the PC. 
again with the Odoo name, and you have the possibility to have, <coughs> to have two buttons. And these buttons, when you go to our back office, there's a left button configuration and a right button configuration, and you can basically configure URLs with a set of variables here, like the contact ID in Odoo. And you can decide if I, the, the, that the left button, for example, if the caller is identified, will open the Odoo um, record, and if the person is not identified, will open a new record within Odoo. Uh, if the person, and that could be for a sales guy. For a support guy, maybe you will ask that it opens a ticket. So the, the behavior can be different from individual to individual. These URLs are configured in the back office and they are pushed, they are provisioned onto the browser of a, every employee. So you don't have to ask them to manually enter URLs. If you want to modify a URL because you've changed the, the, uh, the main URL of your Odoo instance, you just do it in the back end and it's automatically pushed to all users. So it's very flexible in terms of maintenance. By the way, maybe I forgot to mention that. Uh, may, may, maybe if you, if you came for the Microsoft integration, yeah. that's not this one, it was canceled. Okay. So, so that you know. <laughs> um, it works with any Odoo instance, so it can work with Odoo Cloud, so the, the, the SaaS, as well as um, um, on-prem. It works with the Community Edition, uh, as well as with the Enterprise Edition. Any Odoo will work with our integration. Um, now, there is a second button that you can also configure, and you could, for example, do a LinkedIn search if the person is identified, or a Facebook search, or whatever you want, or a Google search, or open the, the, the yellow pages, a reverse um, um, directory service to, if, if the person is not identified, you could do a reverse uh, search so that you see the name of the company, etc. I mean, basically, you can do whatever you want. And of course, if you click on the, the Odoo button, you will see all the details of the, uh, of the person. So all this happens while the telephone is still ringing. When the person is calling you, you do the click, you see everything, and then you can pick up the phone and say, hello, Wolfgang, you probably call for the ticket that you opened this morning. We already have probably found a solution, etc." So in terms of personalization of the way the telephony channel is used, that's pretty cool. Now, this is the basic integration. As you see, there is not much to be configured apart from a login and some URLs to be configured. So it's extremely simple to configure. But we want to go further, of course. And we have, what we have done is that we have developed an, an advanced toolkit, and that's more for uh, Odoo integrators, in fact. Um, and you can go much, much further with this uh, advanced toolkit. The, um, the first thing is that all our platform is based on, a, on an API. So everything that we do through the, the web interface of our telephone uh, system can be done through an API. And that can be used um, for, for Odoo integrators, in, and I'm giving here some examples. Uh, for example, you can have access to all configuration uh, parameters of our platform. And an example is that we have a customer who has, he, they, they, uh, they manage um, homes for old people, for elderly care uh, homes, and whenever a resident uh, checks in into the, uh, into the residence, uh, they ask, okay, well, do you want the telephone in your room? Yes. Um, which number did you have at home before coming to our uh, residence? Oh, I had this number. Okay. Well, you can keep it because with VoIP, you could also keep your, I mean, we can port numbers. So the person in the residence can keep the, the, the private number that he or she had uh, previously. And when they do save in Odoo, it will automatically create in the, on our platform, on the telephony platform, it will create the user, the telephone number, the call flow, everything will be automatically created. And when the person leaves, um, well, they are deleted in Odoo and they are also deleted on our platform. So that means that there is no double encoding. That will be Odoo that pilots our platform. Other examples of what can be done, <laughs> We have an API that allows to also um, reach what we call all cool. 
all a uh, post call. Uh, did I reach 20 minutes or do I still have 20 minutes? I still have 20 minutes, so more than enough. Um, everything that is post call, like for example, the call history. I mean, it's important. I mean, whenever there is a call with a customer, it's an interaction. It's like an email, it's like um, a ticket, it's an interaction that you have with a customer. And what a lot of people are doing is that they use the API to integrate with their ERP or CRM system like, like, like Odoo. So you can attach it to the activity list or the activity journal of the, um, of the contact. Um, other people are using it to, do, to build internal dashboards, like number of calls, missed calls. And if you're in a sales environment, it's quite important to understand, for example, missed calls. I mean, a missed call is, a, is kind of a bad news, and most people don't know that they have missed calls. Uh, so we had examples of people that noticed, that noticed you know, during a day, the, the call pattern is like this, and it goes down. Actually, it, it's, it does this because there's lunchtime. Um, and when you look at missed calls, the pattern is more like early in the morning you have missed calls, and probably late in the afternoon you have missed calls, because people don't arrive in the early enough in the morning at the office, I mean. And so, so our customers, they can see that very easily and they can decide, okay, well, one person of the sales team will have to start at eight instant, instead of uh, nine and in the evening. So they, they can organize shifts in a better way. And otherwise, they have no idea that they are, they are uh, missing calls. Another um, exciting thing is recording. Because we can do recording of the calls themselves. Of course, there are some laws that you have to um, uh, fulfill or comply uh, with. So normally you say like, for quality reasons, this call could be uh, recorded. Um, and the thing is that you end up with an MP3 or a WAV file, which again, you can fetch through the API. So you can fetch the file and put it into Odoo attached to the, um, to the, uh, to the customer or to the contact, if you want, or to the company, whatever you, you want to do. And we even have, some customers who have done something really interesting, I think, is that not only do they take the, um, the file from our servers through the API, but they also take, them, they take the same file and they run it through the Google API. For, that there is a Google API that does speech to text. And what they end up with is a transcript of the call. Uh, here it's in French, but I, I can tell you the transcript is pretty correct. There are some mistakes, there are, some, uh, uh, there are some little typos, but the general sense is really there. And not only does Google do a transcript, but they do a transcript by, and they can differentiate who is speaker one and who is speaker two. And the benefit of that, in fact, is that, so you can also take this text file and put it within Odoo and start doing a, a full text search. So if you say, oh, well, I was talking to, to, to this, or, or you have a, a, a support team and you want to find all calls where they were talking about this specific uh, issue, you can find that, and then eventually you can listen to the MP3 to have a real, um, uh, real evidence or real uh, understanding of the call. But that allows you to do a full text uh, search, and that's, that's pretty cool. Now, we, all, we want to go further, and so everything that I described until now is already available. It's on our platform, everything is available. Now what I will tell you now, it will be available next quarter. So I'm, I'm just putting a big sign, not yet available. Um, but it's quite exciting, I think. What, what the plan is, is to be able to take, to, or to sync other fields within Odoo, any field. For example, I could take an account balance. And then we can start doing intelligent call routing. You know, the call comes in and in the, call flow, in fact, we have a graphical tool on our platform that allows to, to build call flows. And what we are planning, planning to do is to have a box which is a conditional box. It's an if box, if you want. And with this if box, we can check external fields like the balance. In other words, if someone calls support, we can check the balance that the customer has. If he doesn't owe money, then we transfer it to support. And if he owes money, if the balance is negative, then he's transferred to bookkeeping. It's a little bit hard. Uh, that's what Germans would do. Uh, <laughs> just joking. Uh, or you could hang up the phone. 
Uh, no, but you, you see the, the, um, the importance or, or the power of that kind of uh, feature. Um, other example, if it's a sales call, we could check who the account manager of, that, of the person who is calling is and then transfer if, if the account manager is Paul, we transfer it to the user Paul. Um, if the last purchase product was a PS4, you can play an ad over the phone that proposes PS4 add-ons. And if it's not a PS4, then you play the general, the generic uh, welcome message or whatever. In fact, the, the, the message here is that, is that your creativity is the limit. I mean, you, you can do whatever you want with the Odoo fields and these conditional call flows that can, that can uh, go into different kind of uh, treatments of the, the telephony channel. So, so this is exactly what I, what I meant when I said that we, I mean, telephony is like electricity, gas, or water. It's a utility. Is telephony A more exciting than telephony B? No, I mean, it's just talking over the phone. What makes telephony interesting is added value through integration. And that's really our philosophy as, as, a, as a cloud provider, is to bring this added value for customers, so for end users of Odoo, through things like improved productivity, um, optimize the relationship with their uh, customers, um, and al also, of course, and there's probably a lot of integrators in the, in the room, and it's, there's definitely a lot of integrators in, the, in this event, is the fact that for integrators, br it brings them more added value. Clearly, they can, they can do more things with their Odoo uh, de deployments. The fact that it's very easy to integrate is also quite important because I think that for the end user, there is a high value in some of the features that I showed you. Still, it's probably 15 minutes of work for an integrator. So you can probably make good money, uh, good revenue on, uh, on such integrations because it doesn't require long code, etc. Um, and definitely it's a way to increase customer loyalty because the more you do integrations, the more it is difficult for a customer to just uh, leave and, and switch to another uh, product. So that's basically it. That's why I was saying that I'm cool with the, with the time because uh, I've really here the idea is more to show you what is feasible and to give you some ideas about what you could uh, expect in the future. And of course, I'm, I'm happy to take uh, questions in the... Uh, now, otherwise, we have a, a stand underneath. Sure. Is it for the, the question is: It for enterprise and for community? Yeah. Yes, and the, the answer is yes. Uh, it's for enterprise and community and any type of hosting. The only thing we need to have is an access. Let's say that it's on-prem. We need to have an access through the APIs from from the outside. So, for example, you would have in your infrastructure to open the communication to to our cloud. Uh, platform, that's all. But it works for both. Pricing is at the booth. The pricing is very simple. Our pricing, I mean, uh, AlloCloud, it's 10 euro per user and per month. That is the price of the, 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 the hosted PBX. Okay? And then we also charge for the traffic. Uh, so it's minutes and telephone numbers, as any uh, carrier would do. So it's, our job is the same as any carrier. Uh, and for the integration itself, the basic integration is, is free. We might add a price for the advanced integration. We're not sure yet, but it will only come in uh, Q, uh, Q1 anyway. But there might be a little price, and it would be per account, not per user, of course. So you pay only once for a company. Thank you. Thank you.